Hi guys, it's been a long time since I've actually done a welcome. So it's long overdue. Welcome, welcome to Cooking with Didi. Thanksgiving is just around the corner. So today I'm going to share with you my recipe for turnip greens. In this recipe, you can use it for collard greens, mustard greens, combination greens, um, however you like your greens. I was in Michigan recently visiting my dad and he requested some turnip greens and I made some and they were delicious. I normally cook mixed greens. So today I'm doing turnip greens just for my dad. Although he's not here, but it reminds me of him, okay? Um, hope you enjoy it. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think of this recipe. I'm going to fry some cornbread to go with it. Some little um, fried cornbread patties that I make and I might share that recipe with you as well. All right. Stay tuned. Let's get started. You want to get a large pot. I'm using smoked turkey legs today, but you can use turkey wings, turkey tails, uh, whichever part of the turkey that you have on hand or that you prefer. I've added a, a carton of low sodium chicken broth. And now I'm adding about three cups of water to it. Now while my chicken is boiling, I'm going to have it cook for about an hour. I'm going to go on and clean these greens. Sometimes I will buy the greens already pre-washed in a bag. And heads up, they're never fully clean. Even if they say pre-wash, you still have to wash them. I prefer to get fresh greens like this because the bags have more stems in them than I uh, choose to eat. So what I do, I clean my sink out thoroughly. And I let my greens soak in about three tablespoons of vinegar. And while it's soaking, while the greens are soaking, I'm going to go on and tend to uh, the meat. But it's very important that you wash your greens at least three to four times, okay, to get all of the grit. Because greens grow in the ground, all right? So no one wants a bowl of gritty greens. That's the worst thing you can serve someone is some gritty greens. So I thoroughly wash mine. And each time I wash them, I add the apple cider vinegar. I let them sit. And then I take my hands up as if I'm washing clothes out by hand. And I'm washing my greens thoroughly, okay? I also use my sprayer here to... Um, just saturate them real good and rinse them. Now I started to skip this part, but I think because YouTube is worldwide, I don't want you leaving here thinking that just washing them one time is enough. See, all that dirt came from the greens. So it's very important that you wash your greens multiple times. All right, while my greens are soaking a few more minutes before I rinse them a final time, I'm gonna go on and season up my smoked turkey. I use garlic powder, I use a little onion powder, and I don't measure when I cook. I will try and write this recipe out for the average person. I'm using thyme. my um, favorite Cajun seasoning. Use a little bit of that. You can make your own or you can use whatever brand you have. I normally use two different kinds of Cajun seasoning, but I only have one on hand. Um, here's something that's a little different from other people. I always add some poultry seasoning because uh, turkey is a poultry, like chicken. So it adds a little more flavor to it. It, it lifts the flavor of the turkey. Uh, a little dash of that Worcestershire sauce. Y'all know I don't know how to say that, so don't judge. All right. Adding some more seasoning. A little black pepper. Make sure it's mixed in well. 
Next, I'm dropping in two bay leaves. And I forgot to tell you, my temperature is on medium-high heat. And my turkey, before I add the greens, I let them cook for a good hour. Now, you can use some fresh diced vegetables like onions and bell peppers. I didn't have any fresh on hand. I had some packs of frozen, so I'm using half of a pack right now of that seasoning blends. But it really doesn't matter. Some people will saute their vegetables first. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. As you can see, this time I didn't. I added two tablespoons of some unsalted butter. All right, my turkey has been boiling now for an hour. It's time for me to go on and add my greens. Some people chop up their greens, and I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I chop them, and sometimes I don't. It honestly depends on how I feel, and today I'm really pushing through this menu, so I'm taking some shortcuts, all right? They all won't fit in there, so you have to add it in parts. Put the lid on it, let it steam down, and then you can add some more into there. All right, I'm adding some apple cider vinegar to my greens. Now, this is optional. This is just a cultural thing. My mom did it. Her auntie did it. We added a little pinch of sugar to our greens so they're not bitter, okay? Um, like I said, that's optional. I like to add some raw sugar, but I didn't have any on hand. So you saw me add some granulated sugar, just a pinch. All right, my greens are cooked down a little, so now I'm adding the second half of it. Like I said, um, I bought three bunches of greens. And that's really enough for a serving of four. This is my little taste thing that I like to add. I love the juice of uh, banana peppers and I did add about three slices to add a little kick to it. That's optional. All right, once I've added my greens, I let them cook for an hour and a half with the turkey legs. So they've been cooking for an hour and a half. Now it's time for me to go on and remove these turkey legs from the pot because I want to get all the meat off the bone and smoked turkey oh excuse me <clears throat> smoked turkey skin is a little tough so I'm going to remove that and not add that back to the pot so that's what you see me doing here I'm removing a turkey for the from the bone and now I'm adding it back to the greens Stirring them in well, and they smell so good, I can eat them right now. I love greens. I grew up on greens. My mom used to cook them with neck bones, but my bae and kids won't eat the neck bones. They don't eat pork, so I use smoked turkey. All right, and that's some down-home southern soul food. I fried my famous fried cornbread. Now, here's the part I know a lot of you like. You like to see me eat the food, and I'll be honest, I'm really shy about eating on camera, but... Here you go. That's good, y'all. Yeah.